<laughs> All right, well, we're staying right here in the Bay Area where the weather has been uh, refreshing. Yes, I guess so. It's been interesting <laughs> to say the least. Let's take a look back at the <laughs> rainfall totals that we had just 24 hours ago. And in San Jose, it was nine hundredths of an inch of rainfall. So you see how small it was uh, for some parts of the Bay Area, even though in San Jose it rained for like an hour at least. And we had four hundredths of an inch of rain in Morgan Hill and in San Francisco, one hundredth of an inch of rain. So that was the most rain that's fallen on this date since 1993. But then we take a look at our average June monthly rainfall totals for San Jose. We made half of it with that 0 0.09 and we normally get about 0.18. This is the third driest month that we usually see. And as we go into the next several days, there may be a little bit more. Things are quieting down now, but you can still see that area of low pressure in that storm system that brought in that wave of rain is still well to the south of us and there's still going to be the chance that the Sierra could see some thunderstorms developing and it's uh, moving away. So we're looking at temperatures headed for the upper 60s as our sky gradually clears today. We'll reach a high of 73 in Dublin and 75 in Fremont and 75 in Los Gatos. Tomorrow it's also about a degree or two below what's normal for this time in June and then we see several more days of dry weather and possibly more rain. We're talking about this coming in on Sunday, but definitely a lot of action happening for those upper elevations over the Sierra and maybe again on Monday with a slight chance of showers moving through. We'll be watching that. Otherwise, we're headed for some mild temperatures, highs in the mid 70s inland and morning temperatures in the mid 50s, while San Francisco will continue to see highs in the low to mid 60s over the next few days.